All right, Kevin of the Vegan Hip Hop Movement here with none other than Sarah, the MC. Welcome, welcome. We're here in Atlanta, Georgia. And so today I'm here with Sarah to build with her on her diet and her lifestyle. So please, if you would, just, just feel free to just speak on that. Sure. Um, let's see. I have been meat-free since I was 12 years old. Um, I first got introduced to the concept of it um, through a teacher of mine who actually wasn't even vegetarian, but she passed me this book called What's Wrong With Being Meat. It was published in like the 70s. And it just kind of broke down like all the implications environmental-wise, um, poverty, you know, uh, eating meat's effect on poverty, all that stuff. And it just was so profound to me that I decided that I was going to do no more meat. And plus I have a, like, a love of animals, so mm. it was probably about 50% morality and 50% health um, reasons. So I was vegetarian for about nine years, and I've been vegan for 10 years. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. So, as an artist, what, what's it like to, to travel with, with your diet? Do you ever find any difficulties or...? Well, actually, no. Like, I, I love Happy Cow. Like, mm -hmm. Happy Cow has been my favorite. Like, I've done shows in Nebraska and uh, Iowa. Mm -hmm. And you would think that those places would have no <laughs> options available. Right, but right. I actually found, like, a, a pizza place that used, like, vegan cheese mm -hmm. and, like, you know, meat-free sausage, and I found like another place, uh, like an Asian place that made like noodles and stuff. So it hasn't been difficult. Mm -hmm. There have been like the times where I've had to like, you know, eat fries or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But most often, I don't have a problem. Right on, definitely. Mm -hmm. Do you do you tend to like prepare yourself? I, I know you said that you use Happy Cow, but do you ever travel with food in hand, just like in case, like? It depends on if I'm like driving mm -hmm. or if I'm flying. Usually if I'm flying, I don't bring anything. But mm -hmm. if I'm driving, yeah, I'll bring tons of bars, mm -hmm. and snacks, trail mix, fruit, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. And then, of course, I'm sure you're familiar with people's idea that, that eating the way you or I do like can be expensive. What do you have to say about that? It's not expensive at all. I mean, if you want to get like your specialty snacks, it can be a little bit more pricey, but um, just like tr bulk trail mix and fruit and like the, the I don't know, a pail of tofu is like a dollar mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. And when I think about like the meals that I make, like I'm using, I'm using mostly produce. So mm -hmm. that's when you talk, think about like the weight of that and rice, you know, whole grain brown rice. Like the probably spending what five bucks on a meal right, right. on tofu, brown rice, and veggies, vegetables. So it's a misconception. Um, it's definitely a misconception, and I think that the the scarcity of in, in certain areas mm -hmm. can there there can be a price hike with certain things. Mm -hmm. There's like no options available, and it's only available at like one store, but. Even Kroger and Publix now have like a natural food section. Mm -hmm. so it's widely available, and the, you know um, the competitors are offering it at reduced prices. So everybody can be vegan. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I like that. So, so you started to speak on like how you prepare things. Like, what are some great or some amazing recipes that you that you like to use? Um, I do a lot of kale salad. Um, so. To get like my protein and my greens and stuff like that, I'll do like power bowls. I'll do like kale and quinoa. Um, and then if I want like some beans, I'll throw like some chickpeas on top and put it in like a tahini sauce. Mm -hmm. And like that's like my like my power bowl. I'll put like some carrots and stuff. I usually try to look at things like the rainbow. I want like mm -hmm. everything, every color of the rainbow represented on my plate. Um, but some of my favorite meals is our grilled tofu, mm -hmm. and then I'll make some sweet potatoes. So like I'll have my protein, I'll make the sweet potatoes, and I'll have um, the bed of kale, the sweet potatoes, shiitake mushrooms, quinoa, and the, the tofu on top, and I'll make like a sauce. Mm. And that just has everything, it's mm -hmm. filling, it has the fiber, protein, all that. And it's super easy. Nice, nice, definitely. So do you tend to like make all your meals? Do you find yourself eating out much? or? 
I generally, I primarily eat at home. Mm -hmm. nice. um, if I'm like, I'll get like certain cravings for specific dishes that I can pretty much only get at like say Cafe Sunflower. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorite like gourmet um, vegetarian restaurants. Mm -hmm. but, I primarily eat at home. I just think that it's important to watch like what kind of energy is going into your food. Mm -hmm. You know, like yes. exactly how it's being prepared and you know the quality of the ingredients when you're making it at home. Right, right. So. Definitely, I feel that. So you you reference Cafe Sunflower. Do you have any other like favorite vegan spots locally? Um, I go to. I've gone to Loving It Live in East Point. Mm -hmm. That's a raw food um, restaurant. They're a little bit pricey, but mm -hmm. the food is excellent. Mm -hmm. um, I like Green Sprout if I want like an Asian kind of inspired dish. Green Sprout is cool. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Mm -hmm. I know that there's others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, if I want like a pizza, I'll go to like Mellow Mushroom and get like the. They use, like, the vegan cheese. Mm. I still have to try that. I'm um, curious, like, so do you find, like, here in Atlanta, like, you're in, like, good vegan community, like, amongst, like, folks or, like, other artists as well? Yeah, I actually know quite a few um, vegetarians and vegans. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that, surprisingly, Atlanta offers, you know, a pretty uh, large selection of vegetarian things, like, um... Maybe six or seven years ago, it might have been harder to get, like, you know, nutritional yeast at more than one location, mm -hmm. or, you know, diet cheese, for example, at Kroger. Mm -hmm. But now, like, there's, there's more of a demand because the community is growing. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. And, and as far as artists, like, do you know of many, like, other vegan, like, hip hop artists? Or, mm -hmm. yeah? Star, um, she is. She's a vegan. Um, Soul Messiah, he's my DJ producer. He's been vegan oof, for probably almost 30 years. Wow. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Hmm. Like, not, not just Atlanta, too. Like, feel free to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, Ruby Sela, she is up in New York. Hmm. She has a primarily vegan vegetarian diet. Um, oh. Who else do I know, like, personally? Um, those are things that I can think of right word, now. Yeah. Word, word, thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, the other question that I had was, uh, do you have, like, I know you have an upcoming project, and, and um, I was just curious, do you have any songs on that album, or other, otherwise, other albums that um, speak on, like, your food politics? Um, not on this album, mm -hmm. um, but I did do a collaboration with uh, this brother named Kavum. Mm. He's in uh, Colorado, mm -hmm. and he gardens, um, mm -hmm. he has a vegan diet, and he has a song called G's Up, Holds Down. Okay. He holds as in, like, garden tools. Right, right. Um, and it's talking about, like, you know, genetic engineering mm -hmm. and, you know, growing your own food and knowing what's on your plate and, mm -hmm. you know, being environmentally and, and socially conscious right. of your diet. So I do have that song. Dope. Is, and that's out right now? That's out right now. Okay, I, okay. Yeah. And um, do you have any workout routine that you that you use to like complement your your diet? Well, you know, it's interesting. I do get lazy sometimes. <laughs> I will admit that. But you know, with the summer and stuff coming, and I just want to I want to uh, be healthy holistically. Right. So I have been incorporating more running mm -hmm. into my routine. Like I'm actually about to go run right now. Nice. Um, I do um, yoga as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's primarily that I do, I run. Yeah. Right oh, on. and I do, uh, I dance as well. I do okay. Dance. Cool, cool. So do you have any, any last words for folks? Like where, where people can find you online or um, otherwise? You can find me at sarocktheemc.com, mm -hmm. S-A-R-O-C-T-H-E-M-C.com. Um, I'm also on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. Any social networking site you would think of, I'm probably on there. Dope, dope. <laughs> YouTube, but you know, I just want to make sure that people are really thinking about the impact that they have on the world um, through what they're eating. Uh, mm. And I think that's so important, and I'm glad that I can be an example. Word, word. Well, thank you. Thank you.